Okay, nine o'clock in the kingdom, and it's Wednesday morning. And I talked with Johnny there via email, eh? Because nobody uses the old fashioned telephone anymore. I don't know why I have a phone sitting on my desk plugged into the wall for the last 20 some years, okay? But Johnny doesn't figure the beer's gonna make it to, to, for him to deliver because you have the computers, the e log, and then we have terrible warm weather, okay? So, like, it's coming 1,200 kilometers from the south, so it has to meet up with other trucks, transfer everything. And then we also got rain, drizzly rain in January. So, like, the road conditions aren't good. So, Johnny doesn't figure it's going to make it. So, there's no sense having the staff there waiting at the beer store for when Johnny arrives, okay? But that's a fact of life. So, Johnny will hopefully bring it on Friday, okay? That's if it cools off and the road conditions get better it's just unreal so we don't know what we're going to do today but we are going to start start the screaming ford because it hasn't run since october so if we start it now then the fuel system is all primed up okay versus trying to start it at 30 below when we want to make some film right because you know that's when we get the best exhaust and the best sound and everything is when it's cold okay so that's today's project. We won't be able to drive anywhere because the snow is too soft. Like if it was cold, it'd be crisp and hard and we could drive it and go have fun. But yesterday proved that the snow is not frozen kind of sort of thing. But the 39 Chevy did it, right? We had the tire change, we have the good tires and we did it, okay? So we made it back. We didn't have to tow it in with a cat or anything like that. All right, so let's see what the conspiracy theory is today with the temperature. Okay, this morning at 7 o'clock, that was like two hours ago when I woke up, was minus 8 Celsius. Like, it's warm. Even the house feels warm. The shop feels warm. Everything is warm. Okay, and it's my, but feels like minus 14. Okay, so that's that slight breeze we're getting right now, all right? So let's check the yo-yo scale, better known as the F scale. 18 Fahrenheit. Okay, so we have minus 8 celsius but we have 18 fahrenheit so just add 10 or something i don't know it's just kind of funny eh so we on the feels like 7 fahrenheit okay but in celsius it feels like minus 14. i don't know something's funky with these numbers we should go to vegas and play all right okay let's check what we're doing here it's overcast it's dark it's unreal we live in the land of darkness. All right, so we got the cats here all bunched up in front of the shop. We're gonna be working on the famous black cat and its little bi-directional sleigh known as AC DC. Cause whoever built that box that I acquired wasn't very smart, you know, he wasn't thinking, but oh well. Some engineer drew it up and the guy had to weld it and fabricated it and he's probably laughing because he knew it didn't work, eh? All right, let's check the flag of exercise. Look at him, he's kind of moving. Oh, where should I go? All right. Okay, there he is. He's kind of moving over there, but see the staff was smart enough not to sweep all the snow off. She just covered, uncovered the king of obsolete signs. Everybody knows in the world where I'm standing, okay? Yes, I am the king of obsolete. I had 15 seconds of fame on ice road truckers 10 years ago, okay? We got paid diddly squat for that, but I'm selling books now 10 years later on it, okay? Also too, Amazon has my book for free called King of Obsolete Ladies and How It Tees. So I write books about women, okay? I just don't stand out here with a stick and talk about women. I write books about women. And that is me on the cover of the book, okay? Also, if I'm sober enough, I'll include a picture on the end screen because I usually put the picture to close out the videos and stuff of the books, okay? But that's me. I was engaged to a cop and she cleaned me up and made me wear poodle clothes. Yeah, poodle clothes. Dress me up to show me off, right? So these fancy clothes and everything like that. So that is me in the picture, okay? But also too, I photoshopped it so she's in the picture too just to, just enough to show everybody she was easy on the eyes so i didn't mind getting teased and tormented and stuff like that by her but i didn't go out with her as a cop i went out with her as a mother of four okay what she did after which for work was her business just like me standing out here talking into a stick or holding a stick 
that's my life. This is my job, you know. And she dumped me and gave me my engagement ring back when I wouldn't get a real job. Yeah. So then I went to become on Ice Road Truckers. And then she was all upset because she's sitting in her house in the south. Because after we broke up where she dumped me, she moved south, eh? And uh, she phones me up and tells me that I'm on her TV. I said, no, that's my TV and my white suburban that you took, okay? So we had a bigger argument over who owned the TV. But the thing is, there I am on national TV. So 10 years later, she's still watching me on TV, okay? And then she sends me a nasty email, you know. So she's probably watching this video. She'll send me a nasty email and threatening to beat me up and do bad things to me because I'm talking about it. But hey, if I didn't talk about it or be engaged to you, I wouldn't have books and stories to tell, right? You have to make fun of the past, no matter how tough and difficult it was. Okay, those were good times. Well, kind of, sort of. They're good times now. What I remember, mem oh, these lips are dry vodka. They're good times now that I remember them in a funny way. Okay, like I tell everybody, my life's a joke. We make a joke about everything. Because if I was to sit here and analyze my life with the divorces, the separation, the money not paid for all the work I did, I'd be in the funny farm. Okay, I'd be psychologically whacked. Or I'd have to go see Fraser Crane every day, okay? Or his ex-wife, Lilith. I don't think I could sit on the couch and talk to Lilith, okay? Because I sometimes I think her hair bun's just a little too tight on her head. Okay, all right. So the camera's going dark light, dark light. It's fucking freaking dark out there. I almost said the S word. And then I would have been banned. I would have got a spanking or in Facebook jail or something, you know? I don't know what's with Facebook, okay? I'm getting comments or replies to posts like two days ago. Like they're so censoring us, we can't do anything. And friends requests and messages coming through are all fraudulent, okay? It's like we're having an election or something. It's all fraudulent. I just shake my head, you know? I use Facebook as like as a business. Here's my life. I chat with my kingdom followers around the world, but now it's just unreal. Some of these posts and comments, I shake my head, you know, is this guy drunk or drunker than me? Oh, well. Okay, another thing, too. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day on the telephone. Yeah, well, us old guys talk on the telephone. We actually phone a person up. He answers it by saying hello, and we talk about things, okay? You know, that gives our fingers a rest from typing, right? Okay? So him and I were chatting about Evil Knievel's son. He passed away, okay. Oh, the wind's getting up. I got to turn here. Okay, I'll go this way so you guys can see the sunrise, okay. We grew up watching Evil Knievel. That was a guy with Flash supporting the red, white, and blue, right? He didn't have, his Flash back then was lots of paint, lots of glamour, okay. And then his son follows suit. He did the jumps that daddy didn't do because, you know, the son had better, uh, you know, better motorcycles. You know, daddy was just out there with a, Harley Davidson's street bike, and we're going to go jump it and break some bones, you know, that was cool. But the thing is, is now this generation is mourning the loss of that Ken Block, Block, okay, that's Mr. Flash, okay. Look at those cars, look at those stunts he's doing, like that's 100% money, whereas Evil Knievel and his son Robbie, they didn't have money. Their idea was Flash was to put more American flags up and stuff like that. So it's two different worlds that we grew up in. Like we grew up in the simple, plain world of Evil Knievel and Robbie, right? And then you got Mr. Block there, he passed away. You know, that's 100% Flash. And I'm colorblind and I can see the multicolors on those cars and how it's well orchestrated and, and produced these stunts and all that. You know, that's 100% marketing. And that's one thing I do not want Hollywood to do to me. If I become famous, I want to stay, you know, with this normal lifestyle. My idea of Flash would be, you know, getting some chrome for the screaming forward. Maybe we'll put some chrome stacks on it. And that's good enough. Any more than that, I'm not polishing it. It's just like I got a $42,000 promo bike, which is a coffee table. Now I'm worried about having to polish the chrome on that. You know, that bike was to go to Georgia to employ two people to market my books. That thing was so junk, it would never even get across the border. Okay, well, there's no VIN numbers, no paperwork, so it's junk, like unreal. So now, 
we have to build another bike so those two people in Georgia can market my book, right? So we're delayed again, delayed again. But the way I look at it, I'm happy. It's over, it's done. I have a coffee table, a shiny coffee table. I'm not putting up with bullshit from these guys who think they're builders, creators, and sh stuff like that. That's all bullshit. Today's new world, the dumber you are, the stupider your creation, the more popular you are. That's sad to see, eh? And we grew up with evil Knievel. Oh, well. Enough of the rant, eh? I better go. The boss is coming. Okay, it's a little windy down here in the open, but I put up some signs on the my neighbor's signs here. So I added the no trucks because we we're not plowing the snow in the yard. So we don't want trucks to come in here thinking I'm going to work on them and stuff like that when the guys owe me money so they can go frick themselves. All right, so it's a little windy out here. I better get back to the kingdom and have some fun. See, even back in 2014, I had a sense of humor. Smile, you're on camera. Because my neighbor signs here kept getting stolen, okay? So the local 18-year-old kids were stealing them and stuff like that. So what a joke, eh? But oh well, I better get to work. The boss is coming. Okay, I turned the bi-directional sleigh around known as ACDC. It's bi-directional because the skis are curved at both ends. See the curve here and the curve there so you can back up and not get stuck. All right, this truck box was built uh, down south and I guess they don't have rain or snow, okay? So you can see how the door closes. You have the hinge goes up against here. You have the snow and ice. Oh, there's my finger. Snow and ice build up here, okay? And the reason why they put these Mickey Mouse hinges on and they did a kind of a little booger weld along here is they want the doors to swing around to go up against the side of the box here and then there's a little tie thing right here, okay? But that works all fine and dandy until it gets all snow packed. Let's see if I can do this one hand. All right, there we go. So all that snow packs in there and it doesn't allow for the door to close. So you have to get rid of all that snow and ice and build up so you can see how hard it is. So today's project is to get rid of the Mickey Mouse hinges and do it properly, the northern way. Okay, I worked halfway through lunch to get the grinding done. So I grind the welds, I ground the booger welds, I grounded everything, now it looks good. So when the staff shows up sober this afternoon, we can put the new hinges on the doors. And also too, looks like the sun might be coming out today. Look at that, it's right there in the south. Look, just right there. It's just teasing us, just like the ladies do.
Okay, we got the hinges welded on the rusty body here, box or whatever, but it'll do a service well. And the staff is cutting up the old tarp off of the promo bike into strips for the dogs in the pens. Because then it gives them something to lay on, chew on, fight over, whatever. But as long as the dogs are happy, everybody's happy. Okay, for the first time in probably 10 years, these doors actually open and close properly. So we just have to make a better anchor pin. And over here, these are the hinges we bought through that Princess Auto of Canada. It's like the Harbor Freight of the USA. And they're good. We like these hinges, we weld them on, and I just did an up hand, and this is all rusty in here, so nothing fancy. Just make, weld it and make it look good. Okay, we're getting ready to start the screaming for it. It's warm, we just want to start it up. We can't move it or drive anywhere because, well, it's too warm. So people are asking what we put in our fuel tanks, okay? This is the products that Sir Rodney sends us from West Trans, and it's what he can get a hold of and what is common on the market. Like this diesel fuel conditioner, that's what he sends us. This is very common, this clean flow diesel fuel conditioner for the cold weather. And then this is the screw oil we got the last time from him, and we're dumping it in the diesel. And also too, when we run tire chains on everything, we run these gray tarp straps, and we got them from Sir Rodney. These are Arctic ratings, and we squish the ends because we don't want them to come apart on the tire chains.
Okay, so we'll do a video and finish up by 5 o'clock so the boss will be impressed because we actually worked till 5 o'clock, but we also started early today too. So I got two cats plugged in using the timers. Here's the timers here. Okay, one and two. So they'll kick in at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning and heat the antifreeze up with the block heaters. Okay, seeing how it's going to be warm tomorrow, I brought in the injectors, which I had some of them in the shop, and I carried them out to the storage trailer, and then I've carried them back, so I'm getting my exercise. So we're going to figure out the wet stacking on Dooley, and he has the small uh, small ports or whatever, orifices or whatever you want to call it. See, that's a small one. So we'll call it the small nozzle, so we keep the cat separate that way. Big nozzle for Blaine, small nozzle for Dooley. Plus, I got my rain cap which I'll put on the exhaust pipe there to blow the uh, smoke and the liquid exhaust off to the side. Okay, one of the joys of living at the end of the world is the electrical cords take a licking. The cold just cracks the insulation and then the wires break. I don't know if we can see that there. I don't know if you can see the bare wires or whatever, but that's a fact of life up here. So you have lots of these plugs you buy in bulk. I don't know if that's working because usually when I do something close up with the camera, it's usually blurry. I found that out in the bedroom. Okay, when Sir Rodney went to Saskatchewan, don't ask me how to spell it, to pick up the promo bike, the builder was quite concerned about Rodney traveling in the back of the truck or open truck or whatever with this bike because of the paint. He was more worried about the paint. Well, I'm nice enough and I went and ordered a Princess Auto tarp. So I bought a brand new tarp to cover the $42,000 coffee table. I don't know what the builder was concerned about the paint for. The stupid thing didn't even run. Didn't start, didn't run. Total junk. Okay, there's a slight breeze and I'll do my side scan scroll or whatever. Okay, the 74 Ford, known as the Screaming Ford, has the front rear end welded. Okay, there. Right there. That's welded solid. There's no dry shaft to the back rear end. I'm going back and forth in this snow that was unpacked. I was packing it down. It wasn't for Hollywood drama. If it was Hollywood drama, I would have come around the corner at 30 miles an hour and just spin those tires, make it scream, and then run into the van trader there. But no, I was packing the snow down because when we do get a cold day, the truck will drive itself out. And the 39 there works good as a fuel truck. Okay, we kind of got some clear skies. Let's put fresh wood in the stove for the doggies. And we got the cord set up to plug in the TD-18 known as Blaine. And then we have Dooley over here. So we're going to try and figure out these injection systems so we can get some good filming of these cats pulling some sleighs when we get cold weather. And we'll finish out the day with our usual check on the flag exercise. We had a slight breeze, so he was happy. All right, time to go walk the dogs, pick up the pony, and drink some beer. Okay, i got to get it in the right order. Talk to you later.